Hi, my name's Cindy. Welcome to Phil's Sewing Virtual Club. Today we're going to expand on using the Design Suite Holiday Fill and Motif Collection Number One. Um, last month we went over, you know, the USB and how it comes, and then you can print out the uh, designs that are included with this. And what we're going to concentrate on, what we're going to create this time, is Thanksgiving hot pads. So we're going to make several different sizes for several different pans. Our, uh, there's a casserole dish one we've created here. And what we've used is the Thanksgiving, or Give Thanks, excuse me, and the little pumpkin motif around it. And I basically just put the same color thread in the back and did that embroidery, left enough uh, the backing fabric and rolled it over to the front and created a self binding. Um, another thing we did is I made a small hot pad. And this is one of the motif fills. And there's actually several turkeys in there, but what I did is I enlarged it and I gave it a border of gift thanks and I thought that guy turned out pretty good. I might even put a little bit more decoration around that. You know, this is an awful narrow binding, but we can add to that and make something else with it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to start building uh, a new hot pad. Uh, and I did fail to mention that I'm using Insel Bright in between the two layers. So that will really protect any table. So, let's get started. We're going to start in IQ Designer. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our shape. So, I'm going to go into the shapes. And they've got a cute little apple pie motif in there and uh, fill. So, I think I'm going to try to uh, create like a pie shape. So, that might be good for a big round pot or even if you want to put a hot apple pie on it. So let's select, I thought this number 20 would be a good choice. So we're going to select 20 and say OK. So I want this a pretty good size. So I know that some pie pans are 9 inches, so I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger than that. So I'm going to size this to 9.5. So I'm just going to size it. And if I'm choosing this, this is going to size all sides equally in proportion. Okay, so there we go. I've got the apple pie shape. Next thing, I'm just going to say okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I am going to create the, uh, get the fill for the, the region fill for inside that cake. Uh, pie, excuse me. <laughs> so we're going to go into the region fill, select this last icon, select, and I'm going to go to custom and uh, under the Thanksgiving is this pie motif or, excuse me fill so let's see I think I'm gonna go with some kind of a like a crusty color select okay and then I'm gonna use my bucket and fill it now for the outline I I'm going to select a motif from that custom uh, design suite. And in Thanksgiving, there's a little slice of pie with um, whipped cream on top. So I'm going to use that line fill here. I'm going to change the color though. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to change the color and then I'm going to apply that to the outline. Now I can go next. That's really cute, except I really want this center larger, so I can go in here and size it. Uh, and like I said, you just keep playing with these until you get the desired effect. Still think I want it bigger, so let's go in. And the max is 200, so let's see what that looks like. 
Oh, I really like that. That really is going to be a nice little hot pad for a hot apple pie. So I really like that. Um, I like the direction, and the direction is going to be fine. It's basically a circle. Um, I don't want the outline for it, so I've got that off. Um, I don't want a random shift. I want to keep it. I'm pretty happy the way that is. And down here, um, for my thickness, I want it to stitch out a little thicker. So I'm just going to say, okay. And then, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, I'm going to go to my line property. And here's our little slices of apple pie. Okay, and let's see if we move these apart just a little bit. What you want to do on something like this is see how, uh, pay attention how they cross over the corners. And that's doing a pretty good job right there. I like that. Okay, and then the sizing. I think I like the size. Let's just see what it does if we go up a little bit. Uh, I think I like it smaller. So I'm going to go back to the default. Okay, that looks great. So I think I'm ready to stitch it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I am created this for my 10 by that, uh, that 10 by 10 magnetic hoop really comes into play a lot on this. So I'm going to use that on this so we can just, um, no stabilizer needed. We're just going to layer our fabric. Um, I've got the bottom layer, the insole bright in the middle, and then my top layer. And we're going to stitch that out. So I'll be right back after I grab my, design, uh, my hoop. I okay now I'm after we created this an IQ designer with our uh, apple pie hot pad we took it into embroidery now I'm ready to set it you can if you want size it or whatever you want to do at this point uh, on the IQ design uh, on the embroidery screen but I don't see where I, I'm I've got everything centered everything's ready to go so I'm just going to take it into embroidery so now it's ready to stitch um, I've got Madeira Arrow Quilting Thread. It's a variegated, which I thought might really work well for uh, an apple pie. I've got my 7511 Titanium Needle. And I'm, I'm using the 10 by 10 inch magnetic embroidery frame. And I love this frame. It's such a good size for so many things. I've hooped my backing fabric face down, right side down. I've got my insole bright batting in between there, and then I've got my top fabric on top. So I didn't base this together or anything, but what I have found is if you do use the basting function, anytime you do any kind of um, larger hoop quilting, I want to use that um, basting. So um, when I go to layout, I have this option here, the flower with a little dotted line around it, and I'm going to apply that. And that's going to stitch first. So that's going to keep all my layers intact and keep everything nice and, and um, put together for me. So I've got regular thread in my bobbin that coordinates with my um, backing fabric and now I'm ready to go. All I have to do is put my foot down and start. Now I didn't, I'm not going to change colors for this basting. It's just going to do a real quick basting around the design for me. And I just really think that this really helps keep everything together for me. I like that variegated thread. It really makes, uh, coordinates well with that topping fabric too. And I think we'll be able to see our apple pie just great. 
<laughs> I've got a little catch there. I'm going to let it go. And I'm going to trim at the end. Okay. It'll still, it's still holding everything together, so I'm not going to worry about it. Just caught my thread. Okay. There we go. Trim that down a little bit. Okay, now we're ready to start our apple pie design. And this is only an 18 minute stitch out. I think that's awesome for this big uh, design. So let's see how we do with this. Ah, my needle came unthreaded. This, does this stuff happen to you too? So let's just go into this and we're going to go up to the beginning again. Put our foot down. Oh. And here we go again. Another air. We got to thread the needle. We're going to go into that. Okay. If you look on the screen, you can see exactly what we're stitching here. And this design does a uh, triple stitch. And we'll go ahead and let this stitch for all. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, now I'm stitching this and I just wanted to jump on here and show you I got a warning that my bottom thread is almost empty. Okay, so this is something that um, I think a lot of people don't know what to do. So I thought I'm using embroidery thread in my bobbin for this. So what I'm going to do is walk you through how I'm going to show you how this is how easy this is to change your bob and not lose your place. So there's a little icon here that's going to move your hoop so that you can remove it and take, it's going to lock the stitch and move your hoop so that you can get to your bobbin. So I'm going to touch that and it tells me that the carriage in, in the rotary unit will move. Keep your hands, etc. away from the carriage. Okay. And now it's locking my thread in place and now it's in a position where I can remove my hoop to get to my bobbin. So I'm going to remove my hoop and we're almost done with this embroidery. So we almost made it but not quite. So I'm going to replace my bobbin thread. I'm going to attach my bobbin can cover. Insert my hoop back on. Okay, make sure. Okay. And now back to the screen. All I have to do is say okay. It's going to take me right back where I was when I 
ended my embroidery, lower my foot, and resume. So this has been about um, an 18 minute stitch out. And when I'm looking at this, I was going to possibly do some kind of um, extended binding on this or something, but I wasn't thinking. But when you use this basting design, I think I'm just going to leave it as square because I can use this baste as a placement for my self binding when I um, complete this hot pad. So I just wanted to jump on and say something um, in regard to that also. But these are so fun. I'm sure that you're going to have a great time, you know, creating different things for your kitchen or your home decor. You could easily make this apple pie, you know, uh, extend it out and just use the lattice for a pillow. There's so many things that you can do when you size these and, you know, use your uh, design shift sizing, design shift colors, extra borders. I mean, they're just so fun to play with. So, you know, there's endless possibilities on what you can do with this design suite. The fact that they're not a design, but you can edit them completely in um, the IQ Designer makes them eat. You know, a really fun project. Okay, now we're done. Oh, that turned out so pretty. So let me remove it and show you. Always be careful when removing the magnetic hoop. So look at that design. I think that's really a nice design. And the fact that we've got that basting around it is going to provide a really nice placement for that self binding because we left plenty of that backing fabric on each side. So I hope you enjoyed this. There are so many things you can do with this uh, design suite. I hope that you've enjoyed this. If you did, please make sure you push the like button and ring the bell and subscribe to our channel. Um, we enjoyed being here for you, and if you need any assistance in anything, or if you want to uh, purchase any of these supplies that we've used, please visit Larry or Annette at Phil Sewing in Washington, Missouri. Until next time.